Hello and welcome to yet another live session and this is going to be super amazing session on defense sector of India. Now why I have chosen this sector is very very special reason because this is a new mega trend that is emerging and there could be a lot of possibilities that can come up in this sector. Yeah, so if you are all ready and excited about this, uh, let's dive in and I'm going to share, uh, you know, a lot of details around this sector. We'll go deep dive into this sector and we'll also share a small case. This video is powered by small case. So I'll be sharing you with a small case on the defense sector as well. Yeah, so if you are all ready and pumped up, let's get started and make sure you are taking a lot of notes inside this video. Awesome. So first of all, uh, let's understand uh, what is the importance of this uh, particular sector. Okay. So this sector is very, very strategic if you think about uh, Indian government. Why it is very, very important? Because we had a lot of incidents in terms of war. We had Doklam issue. We had a lot of Ukraine related war issues that happened. And if we want to make our country, you know, isolated from all these threats, this sector is very very powerful right so if you are all taking notes let's dive in and uh, let's go deeper around it i'll share my screen we'll do a detailed presentation on this and we'll understand this sector in a in a much much deeper way okay so let's understand this first what we learn here in this session is the first thing what is happening in the defense sector globally like what is the global scenario and why it is important from from the perspective of india okay the second thing which uh, we will learn is in terms of how did this sector uh, accelerate in terms of earnings growth and what are the triggers in this particular sector and then we'll also learn what is the overall strategy that is going on in this sector by indian government that is going to help companies in india we will also discuss how this uh, entire thing is getting pushed by government of india and what are the sectors and companies that can benefit in, in terms of sectors i'll tell the broad subsectors within the defense sector itself and we will also discuss a lot of companies which are uh, going to get benefited and although a lot of them are already getting benefited okay so this is the agenda if you understood this just type noted in the comment box and this is like just a quick disclaimer which i want to mention about now what changed what were the trigger point that changed the entire outlook of this sector okay let's first understand this so the trigger that changed this entire uh, outlook of this sector is the heavy reliance on this defense sector and if you want to understand this we need to understand two major data points okay let's understand two major data points if you see this first trend if you see here india is the third largest nation in the entire world who is spending almost like 76 billion dollars on defense itself okay so after united states and china india has the largest spending on defense and if you think about uh, GDP and all that, it is almost 2.7% of GDP, right? So I think probably in line with healthcare and all the other major thing which India has on, on, his, on its priority, defense also is one of the most priority item for India. And likely so because we are directly in touch with China in, on, on the border. Right. And, and we also know that China is also helping Pakistan and a lot of other countries surrounding India to corner India in, in one or the other way. So that way, you know, defense is a very, very strategic uh, sector for India. And that is why 2.7 percent of GDP of India is spent on defense and it's world third largest in terms of spending. If you think about other countries, there are a lot of other uh, countries which are also spending huge on defense like uk you have russia france germany saudi arabia and that's where if we think about defense sector in india there are a lot of opportunities to export also because what we did in chemical what we did in pharma that also can be replicated there okay so this is the first point the second point is the overall global spend like what is the share of overall defense spe uh, spend that is happening in the entire world so if you think about India, it is like 3.6% of the overall market share, which uh, 
it is getting in the entire world spend we are 3.6 percent okay and there is a huge opportunity size now this is most critical thing okay this is the most critical thing which all of you should note about last few years if you think about the spending of this 2.7 percent of gdp or whatever 75 percent uh, 75 billion dollars of spend which we have done 40 to 45 percent is import if you all noted this down just type noted in the comment box and that is where you know historically we have been into pain and if you have sp uh, heard the speech of uh, mr Nav narendra modi our prime minister this is what he said okay this is what he said main aaj lal kile ki prachir se vishva bhar mein logo se kehna chahta hu come make in india aaiye hindustan mein nirman kijiye and this was the broad philosophy or agenda which india was thinking more so when the modi government came in and the focus was how we can be atmanirbhar and how we can substitute all the import generating things by manufacturing in house and uh, boosting the domestic industry okay so make in india has been very very pioneer step in in this direction and rightly so because if we are dependent 40 to 45% on outside countries and importing that one we are losing uh, forex from our country second our domestic industries are not getting uh, that kind of R&D edge which other countries are having because this is very very heavy in terms of R&D it is very strategic sector and the third and most important thing is the lesson from the Ukraine war right recently you might have seen a Russia Ukraine war that happened that was the first order effect you know we might think what is what is a uh, big deal about uh, russia and ukraine you know nothing happened to india and uh, even we actually got cheaper oil and gas from russia but the point to note here is when this kind of war happened lot of countries in europe and us and canada which were dependent on gas supplies from russia they were not able to get the basic energy needs okay now think about the implication of these kind of incidents in future what if we go into a war with a country which is uh, having indirect support of say us or china from whom we are importing the weapons and what if they stop sending us weapon to our country even though we have paid for it or if we have given orders for it right so are you able to now understand the importance of the sector from the strategic point of view why it is so important for india to slowly reduce the dependence of uh, you know our defense sector itself on other countries right because something can happen and it can trigger a lot of domino effect and that can ultimately be harmful to our domestic security as well okay so that's where the background is and that is where this sector is very very important and of course we'll go deeper in terms of what all stocks are getting benefited how this sector is uh, you know uh, pivoting and what all different things we can look into this sector but hope this is making sense and uh, you are able to understand it if it it is making sense so far just type makes sense in the comment box ms in the comment box okay now as i said you know what were the triggers you know major triggers and when i discussed the china plus one uh, strategy also in one of my earlier video if you have not gone through it you can go and check it out uh, just few weeks back i created a video on china plus one where similar triggers were there first was a china us trade war so this is also a very very strategic point if you think about it okay so since the second world war closed and then we had cold war between russia and uh, us after that there has not been any major war or a cold war that is going on but since last one decade or so china has been trying to you know become a global superpower and that's where you know china and us directly or indirectly are coming into the conflict okay so if you think about right now china and us is also kind of going into a kind of cold war by doing a lot of uh, trade related uh, you know uh, 
uh, issues which they are popping up and a lot of uh, restrictions which they are putting up. So it is like a kind of software which any which ways they are putting up. Okay, and a lot of proxy wars are also being fought. So that is one of the trigger. Then second is dominance of China is increasing. Right, that's where we need to become atmanirbar in defense sector because a lot of these. Uh, components are also getting manufactured in China, and we have also seen the Doklam issue, which was also a trigger point. And as I said, you know, Ukraine war was a major trigger point for many of the economies, including Germany and major economies of Europe, to realize that there could be a major choking of supply chains in in any of the things. If energy is a choking point. it could be tomorrow defense also that also triggered this and taiwan issue has been going out where the semiconductor which is very important in the electronic chips which goes into all these defense uh, uh, you know machineries has also triggered a alarming factor that what if there is some issue over here so if you are able to understand the broader context of why atmanirbhar bharat is super important and why you know indigestion of uh, the entire sector is super critical just type uh, yes in the comment box okay so this is what is the backdrop now different initiatives uh, are also triggering the acceleration of this sector right not only just atmanirbhar bharat or make in india there are multiple uh, such initiatives which are you know driving force behind boosting of this entire defense sector so the first one is pli scheme which is production link uh, incentive so if you are producing some uh, goods which are strategic and which are very important for the country and it is kind of import substitution government is giving lot of incentives and subsidies kind of structure to the companies uh, through this entire process the second is make in india scheme where lot of uh, foreign companies which are having r and d know how and and technical know how are invited to india do collaboration with indian companies or in isolation and are encouraged to produce uh, within our country right we have seen that happening into various sectors including chemical including uh, automobile sector we have seen lot of boost in the mobile and electronic sector also and the same uh, process is being initiated in the defense sector also third is atmanirbhar bharat where we are encouraging companies uh, to you know manufacture in house and also you know source in house so government departments have, have now started uh, you know creating quota for domestic uh, sourcing also and we are taking lot of anti dumping measures and also we are giving incentives for export and r&d okay so all these things combined you know right steps taken at the right time have accelerated the process even more okay now we'll go deeper into a very very strategic uh, you know scheme which is called pli scheme and if you have watched my earlier videos also uh, if you remember in march of uh, 2020 when the chemical uh, api and pharma api sector was just picking up okay that time i did a video and after that lot of companies like newland laboratories and uh, loras labs and lot of these api companies became 2x 3x 5x 10x also right so the same thing is actually now happening into a defense sector now what i'll tell you is why this is different from api is because it is a very very structurally sticky sector okay and once the r&d and once the in house capabilities are built the orders are much much longer in duration so in a way this entire thing which is happening is kind of mega trend in making okay so just like how i did the chemical sector video where it was a mega trend and lot of shift were structurally happening the same thing can happen in defense sector if uh, this entire scheme gets uh, successful okay so that's why it is not more like a sugar sector or paper sector it is more like a temporary but if this really works out this can be lot lot structure in nature okay now if you are uh, not following me and you don't know me i'm vivek mashrani and you can follow me on twitter if you are not yet following me and what i do is uh, i combine technicals and fundamentals and i call myself as technofunda investing specialist i'll show you how uh, we can also 
go deeper in terms of charts and analysis and how all these trigger points which i am talking about right now in pli scheme how it connects back to the companies and and exact dates i'll be showing you that and i'll also be sharing with you a powerful uh, small case which you can use and i'll show you how you can also replicate into your investing journey okay so if you are all excited so far just type excited in the comment box and let's go deeper into this okay so the pli scheme which i was talking about there are three list which got released within pli scheme so basically the intention was hey let's identify the kind of components and and uh, you know goods which we can manufacture in in house and make a road map in terms of how fast we can you know make it indigenize okay how we can uh, take it into indian context and how we can substitute it as a import substitute okay so that's what uh, indigenize uh, way of uh, step by step process was launched now the first thing that happened was government or the defense ministry identified 2500 items to be indigenized and those all items got indigenized that we will no more import these items let's manufacture in house okay so that was the first thing that happened any uh, component falling within this list with were like low hanging fruits everything was done in the first uh, instance itself then in december 2021 government released the first list uh, under the defense sector Ar atmanirbhar pli scheme that will go for uh, these items to be indigenized then second list got released in march 2022 and the third list got released in august 2022 now why this is important is you will understand in in just a second so what i'll do is i'll first uh, pop up the first list which was uh, you know proposed so if you see this list here it is written that in order to provide impetus to self reliance in uh, defense manufacturing that is called atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan two positive indigenization list of weapons or platforms or systems or ammunitions have been prepared and notified by Depo department of uh, ministry affairs in continuous pursuit of self reliance in defense manufacturing and to minimize imports by uh, de defense psu a positive indigenization list of subsystems or assemblies etc has been prepared and if you read third point it is said that it is hereby notified that 2500 items at annexure 1 already successfully indigenized and 351 items at annexure b are available on srijan portal and that will be you know subsequently indigenized so basically what they have said is if anything is right away we can uh, domestically uh, produce let's do it and if not let's have a timeline by which we will stop the import so that is very very powerful thing so if you see they have like entire list by names of the companies and what all things they are manufacturing inside this entire appendix okay so this is like 2500 components which they have uh, you know indigenized and then there is a list which is potential list and there is a timeline that okay by uh, december 2022 you have to do this okay so it is already mentioned with timeline that these components needs to be indigenized by december 2022 so this is like the first list okay and if you read the date of this list let me just uh, scroll up and uh, show you which is the date so it is december 27 2021 that is when the first list was uh, mentioned the second pil list which was on march 28 2022 that is where they again created a list of items and categories and they disclosed it and uh, finally the third pli scheme which was mentioned on 28th august okay so just uh, remember this date 28th august another one is uh, you know 28th march and then another one is december in 2021 okay and all these things will tie back when we are studying what is the impact and how entire thing is going on okay now let me show you a, a powerful thing in terms of uh, the portal right so when they released the third pli scheme on 28th august it said that if you want to you know produce it in house you can submit rfps request for proposals and all these items have been categorized over here okay so let's open this and understand it's called srijan portal and all of you should actually study this so i've just opened this for the sake of uh, your benefit so it says how many you know out of that list how many uh, components have been 
indigenized so it is 351 then second list 107 third list 780 components and you can actually track each and every component by company over here so if you click on the on the component which are indigenized you can actually see the list and the companies which are being allocated right so there is a detailed dashboard which shows what is the progress how it is allocated which company has put in rfp so this is like a one-stop solution if you want to track this particular sector so if you see in the first list there are like bdl which has got 33 company uh, 33 components or items bml nine items hal five items HL, hsl four items iol 130 items and so on and so forth so this is where you see the beneficiary which company is actually the beneficiary of this particular uh, you know items which are getting indigenized so hope this is all uh, you know so powerful for all of you and you are enjoying this one more thing what you can do is once you go to this list let me just uh, load it up once you go to this list you can also see the latest one right so out of uh, 7 80 components what are those 201 companies which has put in the rfps and where the sanction order is given so you can actually just click on this and you can see what all is the trend for the latest uh, you know rfps that are happening okay so see this here you will see uh, you know list of psus which are getting benefited so bml they got four items hal they got 65 items uh, Mazdaq, Mazgao Dog, they've got 120 items and BL have got one item. So in essence, you know, out of this uh, 780 items, almost like uh, 40 to 50 percent components are aircraft components as well as uh, helicopter components. Okay. Now, major beneficiary, I've, I've studied this list and I've done a lot of deep dive. Uh, major beneficiaries are BML, HAL, we have BDL, we have Mazgao Dog, we have Cochin Shipyard, all those companies. Now, if you want to see the magic, how both these things tied up, right? Just see the magic, okay? So if you are all ready for this, just type ready in the comment box. I'll show you a magical thing, how technicals, price volume actions, and fundamental mega trend that is going up, how that combines with each other. If you want to see this, just type yes in the comment box. I'm going to show you this, okay? So if you see BDL chart, okay? What happened in BDL? was like around this December when this contract was released, there was a positive price volume action. But in the first phase, there were very few components which were actually indigenized. Now in the second list, when it got released, remember 28th March, which is coming over here somewhere. Okay, 28th March is coming over here somewhere. Now just even before that, you know, the already rally started from 400 rupees already it went to 565. When the news actually came, it actually did a profit booking. Then a lot of people would have analyzed fundamentally and understood what is the impact of this entire list. And then the next leg of rally started after this consolidation, right? So this is the power of studying price volume action. Then if you see the next list which came on uh, August, in August uh, which came in, Again, same thing happened, right? So by the time the list came in, actually it was a profit booking time. Already the star price started moving much more before. And same way, you know, a lot of people would have fundamentally then studied it. And after a few days, again, the next leg of rally started. And this is not just BDL. By the way, it happened in each and every company in this sector, right? So it happened in, in uh, December in HL. Then the second move happened after 30th March. And then finally, you know, in August, there was again a price volume action over here. And again, the next move started. Not only this, if you if you study Mazdoc, which was not beneficiary in the initial few list, okay, so uh, December it did not do much, you know, April it moved a bit, but people realized that there is nothing much happening here. But in the last list, which was uh, released on 28th August, actually people realized that a lot of things are positively impacting. And if you see from 26th August, the move started and from 300 rupees, it has gone to almost 450 rupees, right? So that is where, you know, market does a lot of these things in the anticipation. And then after the fundamental studies, it actually uh, course corrects, right? So these are the companies uh, which are actually, you know, getting benefited. And you can see the price volume action in each and every of these companies, right? So even in this, starting from 23rd August, the price volume action in Cochin Shipyard started. And then people would have studied for a few days, profit booking happened and the next leg of rally also started, okay? So if you found this powerful, 
just type powerful in the comment box this is how you know combining the forces of uh, you know technicals and fundamentals you can get lot of insight so imagine you would have been able to track the price volume action even before the news comes out you are alerted and then as soon as the pli list comes in you can actually quickly go through the portal which i mentioned region portal and you can actually see what are the future beneficiaries now the good part is if you go through the pdf okay if you go through the pdf which i showed you initially the first list which was there uh, in fact the third list also lot of timelines are uh, futuristic right so it's not like it's going to happen tomorrow so a lot of uh, these timelines are like december 2023 then uh, december 24 december 28 so it's basically the next 7 years what they need to make it domestically and how they need to import substitute by component and by items it is given and by company it is given like hl will get this order and they have to substitute this with respect to import that is happening and that's why all these moves which are happening it is like fundamentally very solid moves and these are not temporary moves because this is more like a structural trend now the problem lies somewhere what is the problem what do you think is the problem okay yeah nilesh is asking how do you identify price uh, volume action so i use a tool called ridewinners.com where i actually get all these insights right so if you if i go here and if i go to the date right if i go to the date of august say let's do last week of august and if i type uh, you know defense you will see lot of companies like data patterns was coming on uh, on the screen then uh, if we see hal hal was coming in the screen and then if we see bdl okay bharat dynamics limited i think that was also coming in the screen let's go to the trend screen and that's where we will be able to see whether it was coming much in advance okay so bdl was coming much in advance then uh, hl was coming let's see hindustan aeronautics okay so hl was coming much in advance so this is how you basically spot it okay so the price volume action will uh, start much before the news comes out so like from 16th august itself in hl actually it started coming in okay so that is one tool which i use uh, then of course for fundamental analysis you can use various tools uh, if you want to see whether any company has a detailed exposure to defense sector you can even go to tijori you can see what is the revenue mix of that particular uh, company like if you study some of the companies like ashok leyland or uh, you know lnt although it might be a defense proxy play but they might not have a major revenue contribution so that aspect also you need to study okay so hope this is uh, clear so far okay and uh, if you want to also learn how i do this i'll give you a free course uh, just because you are here live uh, let me just share the link of that okay so you if you want to learn this entire process which i showed in a deeper way you can uh, go to this link technofunda.co/basic and you can apply the code formula that is where uh, you can go about it okay now the problem is one there could be lot of competition that could be coming right so the first thing you need to make sure is there is some kind of moat competitive advantage and monopoly in, inside that sector so i have created two videos if you want to understand these things in a much better way one it's once it is in economic modes how to understand it another video is on monopoly how monopoly gets created and what are the factors behind it so you can go through both these videos later but the important thing in these kind of situation is first the execution right because psus generally historically have not executed so well and companies like hl have been like very very lethargic in terms of execution even their tejas deadlines have been postponed multiple times so first thing is execution second thing is how is the competitive advantage is playing out and what are the kind of modes really these companies have and third very very important factor is the receivables right we have seen in companies like tejas networks that sometimes government don't pay or pay very very late or even if they pay they pay at their own terms so if that kind of things happen then it is definitely a risk inside this sector but having said that structurally the shift has happened the government has realized the importance the order book has started flowing in in fact lot of these companies have order books lined up till like 2027 2029 so there is no uh, you know dearth of orders it is just matter of how they execute and all those things okay 
uh, Amay is asking the link, so you can go to this link, technofunda.co slash basic. I'll also post this in the description and then apply the code formula. Only then you will be able to uh, act it. And if you want to also go deeper in terms of the entire process, how I do uh, the buying, adding, selling, I don't go all in. If, even if there is a short, short price volume action, I have a process built up around it. If you want to learn that, you can also go to technofunda.co slash life. So it is very, very important not only just to understand the price volume action, but as I shown, uh, showed to you, right, what is the fundamental trigger? What is the order book? Which all are the companies are getting the, you know, benefit of the government? Now, how many of you are ready for the list of the beneficiaries and potential beneficiary? Just type me in the comment box and I'm going to share that. And after that, I'll also tell you how to prepare that kind of list for yourself. Okay. So. This is the kind of key beneficiaries which are there inside this sector. So some of the beneficiary who are getting the order already, right? We have seen the list and, and seen the list of the companies and you can go deeper into the portal also. I'll share all the links in the description so that you can go and check it out and bookmark it so that it is future ready reference for your defense sector. So the companies like BEL, companies like BML, HAL, Musgao Doc, BDL, Garden Reach, Mishra Datu Nigam, all these companies are already getting huge orders from the government under this entire Atmanirbhar scheme and PLI scheme. There are a lot of potential beneficiaries which are uh, likes of uh, data patterns, Paras Defense, Solar Industries, LNT, Bharat Forge, Honeywell Automation, because a lot of things on the automation side and electronic side, they are like indirect beneficiary then your companies like Ashok Leyland who are creating a lot of vehicles around it and of course there is Cochin Shipyard which have not got significant orders so far but it's also equally beneficial after you know Musgao Dock you have seen the trend okay so that is uh, on the list of the companies now what I generally do is uh, you if you want to track this sector you can just create a small case you know you can just go and create a small case you can say you know my defense watch list okay you can do like this okay and then once it is done you can put description same description i'm just putting for saving our time just click on done and once this is done you can actually keep adding the stock so if you want to say add uh, bdl you can just add bar dynamics limited if you want to add say hal you can just add HL and if you want to further do your uh, fundamental study you can even do using some of these tools like uh, ticker tape or screener or any other tool which you resonate with and you can actually see various data points what has been their performance who are their peers uh, what has been the kind of revenue growth all these things what is the mutual fund holding what are the pledging of the shares all these trend you can see you can even go to the detailed financial statements and see what has been the trend in terms of revenue their pbt net income and all those things okay so i'm not going detail in terms of analysis right now but this is how is the next step after you identify it and once you have created the small case you can just save it you can you can you know click on save small case and you can actually start using it you can even do sip using that I, what I am going to do is I will uh, share a list of selective listed stocks in the defense sector with all of you and you can actually replicate that if you want to download it you can download it and do your own analysis this is just example of how I have created my uh, defense stocks watch list it is up to you if you want to also create on a similar lines this is just an example of uh, how you can do it okay so I'll share the link with all of you just bookmark this I also posted in the comment section as well as description i'll also pin this in the comment so just uh, note this uh, down this is a small case link technofunda.co slash defense and we'll do detailed q and also if you have any questions around it uh, just note this down as of now and if you want to also learn how to read annual reports financial ratios there are a lot of videos on this uh, channel itself right so there is a video on uh, must know financial ratios there is a video on uh, how to read annual report you can just google vivek mashrani how to read annual report uh, vivek mashrani how to know financial ratios you can learn about it okay so hope uh, this was uh, super useful and let me see if I have any other thing to share. Just let me go back to my slide and let me see if there is anything else which is missing up. Okay. So 
yeah let me just share the screen just in case you have not noted down this is the link you can note down okay and uh, thanks to small case for having this kind of platform where we can create this uh, kind of uh, small case for free so you can go and check it out okay so any other questions uh, let me know how uh, you want to understand anything deeper inside the sector but broadly just to summarize the key thing is this sector is shifting for uh, for for a long term like structural shift is happening that is very very clear the directional view of government is very very clear that they want to ultimately uh, substitute lot of import items within this critical strategic sector then we understood uh, the kind of execution from government side they've already done 2500 items there are lists which are coming up periodically and they are also having this portal to track right so i'll share the link uh, in the in the description if you want to check it out also but they are actually executing it and it's it's public it's not like uh, happening in the story and newspaper it's actually getting executed and that will also force uh, government uh, psus to also execute that there is also one entity which has been created which is called avnl which is not a listed entity but that's where they have strategically combined lot of uh, this uh, know how and resources to also uh, you know create ammunitions with drdo okay so they are actually activating lot of uh, resources and forces which they are already having and doing it okay so if you have any questions let me know hope this session was useful if this was useful uh, go and uh, follow me on instagram my handle is vivek mashrani and tag me on twitter uh, my handle is adrit mashrani vivek and let me know how did you find this uh, session was it useful and did you learn about the broad overview of this sector i have spent almost like uh, more than 3 days to <coughs> deep dive into this sector on over and above my regular uh, research which i do on these companies but hope this was useful and i've given you like on a platter like what all key things which you need to monitor you don't need to go everywhere if you just focus on the pli scheme the profitability and the kind of order book that is flowing with the shrijan portal which is uh, which i showed you that should be more than sufficient as a starting point okay yeah somebody is asking what is the small case name so you can go to technofunda.co/defense you will not be able to search directly because it's a private small case which i have created but if you want to go directly to the link you can just go to this particular link okay uh in your opinion which one is going to be multi bagger so i cannot say which one will ultimately become multi bagger if you think about the order book hal uh, and uh, you know other aircraft manufacturers which are private companies they are getting maximum order because 50% of the indigenization list is uh, focused on helicopter and uh, aircraft system the second biggest beneficiary is of course uh, in terms of uh, you know missiles and submarines and and all the shipping companies so there they don't have many options there is mazgao uh, ship uh, dock and there is a uh, cochin shipyard so i think uh, broadly those are the ones then bml and uh, bel are any which ways uh, across the value chain so they are getting benefited i'll show you one more document by the way since you have raised this question i'll uh, show you a document where this is a government document uh, by the way so they have listed down lot of these companies so it's called uh, catalog of indian defense industry 2020 and they have listed down which all are the beneficiary companies okay so you should definitely study this list also if you want to understand the dynamics of this sector if you see they have categorized by which system which kind of company is beneficiary right so uh, let me zoom it a bit so it said like main sector of land industry land industry these are the companies and they are present across all these value chain then uh, you know novel industry there is garden reach uh, ship builders goa shipyard uh, hindustan shipyard larsen and turbo mazdog so if you see mazgao has across the value chain presence right everything is tick mark so identify companies which are across the value chain and which are listed place that's that's where the probability of uh, winning becomes more it's all probability play ultimately right so if you see tata advance system limited which is not a listed company probably but that is where again you know they are present across value chain in the electronics and communication same way you know you can go deeper in terms of uh, all these entire value chain list so they have like detail list like aircraft which is there helicopter which is there so you can take a good print out of it 
and you can you can actually go and do your research okay then company wise they have also gone and uh, they told what is the key uh, you know combat vehicles and and uh, the equipments they are manufacturing and what are the defense items they are manufacturing and what is the specialization right so by company like ashok leland where they are good at what are they doing bml what are they doing everything is mentioned in this document like bharat forge what is the strategic thing which they are doing in electronics naval land what exactly they are doing they have mentioned here right so go and check it out and one more thing that is happening is in uh, october i think 18 to 22nd october in gandhinagar there is a defense expo if some of you are uh, you know willing to visit that is also one of the trigger why lot of these stocks are moving because there could be some big bang announcements that usually happen during this uh, kind of expos and that's where <coughs> this sector can again get re-rated okay so hope this was useful any questions uh, let me know uh, one of the member is asking uh, okay let me uh shailendra jain is asking is shipping sector also related to defense sector and have synergies absolutely so there are a lot of uh, submarines and all those things uh, which are uh, there in the shipping sector but otherwise pure play shipping sector no but there there could be some common parts which are there right so if hoods and lot of these components which are there uh, that can be sourced by all these uh, defense uh, ship building companies also so that they, they could be indirect beneficiary if not the direct beneficiary but thank you for asking that question shailendra any other question uh, yeah sunil pande is saying definitely amazing session thank you so much uh, sunil pande glad it was useful uh, gaurav shivasta <laughs> is saying yes so it's machine yes so mega trend is happening okay that is for sure the improvements are happening and uh, new orders and and uh, new technology is also getting created so definitely lot of components of our uh, you know machine formula is happening and of course our uh, you know diamond members are going to present on defense sector so i'm looking forward to that and by the way if you guys are not aware those who are not part of my community uh, i put lot of stress on uh, sector analysis because when you are able to spot a sector which is a long term mega trend lot of uh, opportunities can come in there right so when we do our hackathon which is a implementation program we actually go much much deep dive inside uh, this entire process also okay uh, and and by the way if you want to also learn about tools like how to use uh, you know the different tools which i showed you like tijori and uh, ticker tape and screener and uh, ride winners which i showed you you can also check out this video okay which is uh, top 5 stock market analysis tools it is inside this uh, uh, my channel itself okay and if you are not yet liked and subscribe my channel please do so i'll take one or two more question okay abhijit is saying uh, very nice presentation thank you so much yeah thank you so much abhijit for uh, being live till the end much appreciated although we do great presentation it it requires lot of patience to actually sit through okay uh yeah this is a very common question right uh, when i did a sector analysis of uh, chemical in 2018 i was getting the same question that it chemical sector stocks has already moved up whether it will go further see if the sector can compound really for 5 10 years right the compounding engine will keep on happening this is more like a re-rating that happens initially but if really it executes and really earning starts coming then there is lot of chance for a uh, earnings compounding that is possible right we have seen in multiple companies in chemical sector it's just that that shift should be structural in nature and it should continue that's that's the only thing over here okay prasanna is saying uh, really it is worth watching and uh, thanks for cascading the knowledge thank you so much prasanna glad it was useful um uh, yeah same question i think from vijay already a big run has happened in hl bdl so think about the earnings potential study this sector and see from here where it can go and there is one more uh, you know link which i want to give you let me see if it is uh, there i'll save that link inside uh, below this uh, in the comment section in fact i've put it inside the slide also let me see if i can pull it up right away So there is a link where uh, they have given the financials and how this entire sector has grown. Okay, it's called uh, DP DDP MOD Government. I'll I'll just share the screen in a second. Just give me a second. 
so there is this uh, you know link where you can go through all the defense public sector undertakings like what all are the key beneficiary you will get the list over here and then you can see what kind of order book they have been getting right so if you see and observe the pattern let me see if i can uh, zoom this a bit also for all of you guys now see this okay see this table and see hal from you know five last five years the production has been almost stagnant right from 17000 crore to like 19000 crore if you see bel this is still better then uh, if you see bdl it's almost there in fact it has been degrowing right bdl has not done much it has been degrowing downwards then if you see other companies like mdl musgaon dog it's pretty much almost same kind of production which they've been doing now if you think about the capex which is coming up the new places where they are putting up new plants and the new components they are coming up this entire scenario can change right this is the profit after tax there has been not much significant growth in last few years in this sector even in the public uh, defense companies okay psu defense companies so think about this right that what is the delta over here even if the earnings go 30 40 50% 50 every single year it can change the scenario of course you need to uh, focus on right companies there could be lot of companies which just by euphoria and even if there are no orders coming up they will run in this kind of move and then they it will fall back again right so you have to be very careful when you are doing this and that's where the portal and the kind of order how to track i have shown you so that you can do right kind of research uh, uh, you know alongside okay yeah that's what shake is also asking like how to avoid getting trapped in profit booking stop losses so here you need to be very careful that actually they are like really beneficiary of the entire trend and not just because the sector is moving all the goda and donkey everything will move together yeah we have to remove all the donkeys which are running and just focus on the good horses that is what is the key arjun is saying can we invest uh, in small case through any brokerage yeah so there are multiple uh, you know uh, small cases which are uh, tied up uh, with the uh, brokerage houses so you can you can check it out if your broker is allowing you can actually do it okay superb uh, uh prasanna kumar is saying bl announced two is to one bonus will it benefit or uh, not much you know bonus is not a like a major trigger for re-rating or earnings growth so it is like a non event okay uh uday is saying glad to join this group thank you so much uh, uday and welcome aboard uh vk agarwal is saying thank you so much for taking my query thank you vk agarwal ji uh ankur shrivastava is saying please share this document yes i'll share all the links uh, in the description below this video so you can go through it uh okay what else what else can technology disrupt future yes definitely see lot of technological change is going to come any which ways okay this is just the delta and the incremental technology that can come we are tracking okay uh paras defense is a good play uh, for drone yeah so for drone also there have, there have been lot of positive moves in pli scheme also specifically uh how it will execute is very difficult to say because it is very very early stage in terms of defense uh, sector drone wise okay sub sector of drone very very early phase to say if they execute there is immense opportunity for sure okay all right uh how do we choose one stock over the other uh, which appear in ride winner tool so rajeshri we have a detailed learning module on on ride winners you can just go and check it out as soon as you log in there is a learn section there are detailed videos around it which uh, you can go through awesome uh, how to understand p in case as they have related uh, to different categories so don't do p what i do inside my community also i do what is called reverse dcf okay and it's also there in the tijori you can do it where you can see the current valuation and see what is the earnings growth that is already factored in and by your analysis if you think your uh, earnings growth can be much higher then it is undervalued that is how you can do about it okay uh is there any other tool to identify where fis are pumping the money before the actual run rally comes in uh, no only price volume action is the key okay N nothing else will give you data around uh, this 
yeah, Shakil uh, is saying like uh, if people start doing profit booking, that's that's where your exit system is very very important, right? So if you want to learn exit system and and the entire process, and if you are not already following it, I'll give you a link which you can join my free masterclass, which is called uh, technofunda.co/live, and uh, you can learn about how I think about exit systems. Okay. <coughs> Uh, Ajit is saying really great things you are doing by sharing knowledge. Thank you so much, Ajit. Uh, welcome aboard, and uh, thank you for uh, acknowledging that. Arun Kumar, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your comment. Uh, Nirmit Patel is saying, "Aapke stock super boom karte." Thank you so much. It's just the process I follow. Rest everything happens automatically. But thank you for acknowledging. Awesome. So I think we have probably uh, done and dusted with most of the session. Uh, Amma is saying, "How do I take uh, your blueprint course? I have already subscribed for Ride Winners." So what you can do if you want to directly join, you can uh, go to technofunda.co/offer, uh, and you can directly join my community if you want to. Yeah. Uh, this is like a discounted link which I've shared uh, for for all of you if you are interested to join. Okay. What else? What else? Any other question? Rakesh Kumar is saying data patterns is on trigger on ride winner tool. May may we move on this? Yeah. So this is again a potential company. Uh, we have to see, observe what is the kind of order book they are getting. Uh, Vishesh uh, saying thanks for sharing excellent tools information, knowledge about the sector. Thank you so much. Irfan is saying great knowledge thank you so much Irfan glad you liked it and uh, that's it for today then if uh, all of you have uh, asked your question and uh, we are done with this yep superb thank you so much and uh, see you in the next video if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe and if you like the video just hit the like button it means a lot and see you again in the same uh, channel until then goodbye take care